this is the uh, finish, just the front of the cell phone is where you want to start. And uh, just having a rectangle with the corner widgets that you can uh, illustrate at the top. So right at the corners here, you can click on it to make it a rounded rectangle. Next one, just placing the screen inside there. A couple circles, the center, the triangle is just the uh, shape tool. And then all these lines that you put together, you can just use with the stroke tool. And once you do the number, the idea would be easy to set it centered, uh, the font in Helvetic or, or font that you want to use. And if you set it up as a center and then use the transform to put three across, four down, you'll have all the numbers ready to go. And then just selecting the rest of the image items to give them the color and the thicknesses of the stroke. Once you have the numbers, just uh, expand the appearance and ungroup it a few times till they're all separate. And then, and then you can just edit the number and you have everything that you need. Switching the image to black, the screen, just using the eyedropper and modifying a couple of the colors and you have everything that you need for that section. And just have a final image to save. From here we'll use... So if you take the uh, text tool, just kind of do it off to the side here and just type in the number, highlight it and check paragraph just to make sure this, the font is centered. And then the character, depending on which one you want to use, this one is just Helvetica Bold. And uh, just make it a little bit larger so you can see it. And that's, that's your first uh, number that you have. And either go into the Effects panel or Appearance. And down below you can do the Transform section. And just set the window off to the side. Hit on the Preview. And Horizontal, you can see I'm just going to go into Copies and put in two copies and just increase this part. So whether you drag it across or just use the arrow key inside here, this is your measurement and the rulers is set to points. Click OK and then click on it again and just repeat add a transfer to this effect. You get this message to come up and just go ahead and click apply and again do this part. Increase the numbers. Just put three copies and then this time just do the vertical and you'll see it separates them down and hit OK. This is referring to everything that's on here so whatever happens to this one will affect all the rest until you do expand appearance and then it breaks them apart. They're still grouped together so you have to ungroup it a few times because there's a set of <coughs> four items or use the keystroke to make it a little easier. So now when you click off and on, everything is highlighted so it makes it a little bit easier to just go ahead and see if you can highlight this. Depending on what you have your presets set at, so when this one is hit you can see it jumps up to the 4. Just make sure that you're clicking down below and it's just affecting whatever you had this, the presets before you expanded the transformation. So this will give you all of the items able to be broken out as numbers. And then just deleting that. So that's giving you that piece. The part for the triangle apparently is if you have the ellipse tool, option is going to set it from the circle out. And the shift X will switch the foreground uh, fill in stroke colors. And when you have the <clears throat> polygon tool, depending on which one you use, the option and the smart guides are going to set that up there. The direct selection will let you just click on it and use the arrow keys to change it down a little bit. And we've used the transformation keys, so when you go in there to grab those, take a look. And if you didn't put any ruler guides, the smart guides will help you find the center of this to click on that and hit copy. And you can either hit duplicate or set up the copies that you need for that piece. <clears throat> These little green and red arrows, you can use the pen tool or something we haven't tried yet, just do a box shape. In the scissors tool under the eraser, just click on the anchor points and just hit A for the direct selection and delete that piece out and that'll give you that section. And then everything that you have, if you just do half of these items onto the left or right of the arrow, as long as you have them selected under the rotation, just take the reflect tool and click on the midpoint of the phone and it'll give you a copy of that on either side so you can use that as a, as a help. So see how you do on that.
here's kind of the uh, end of it where it's just in a reflection there. And what you're doing is you're taking a copy of this and placing it in there so that you have a duplicate off to the side that you can then change and rotate and use the transformation tools, but you want to uh, expand it first is one way to do it. You can also create it into a symbol, but expanding it allows you to manipulate the image still. This highlight is just a, a stroke, a white stroke with a, uh, sometimes it's outlined to make it a thickness to it, just to give it the white, and it's just putting a drop shadow on the back of this just to give you a little bit of depth to it. So it shows that section.